everyone, today we're going to be downloading Doom on this TI-84 Plus Color Edition or CD calculator. So sit back, relax, and enjoy while you watch me download Doom on the calculator. So we're going to need to download a few things from the internet first. I'm going to go in order and I will post all links in the description. The first thing we're going to need to download is called TI Connect CD. And you're just going to go uh, to that link in the description or just Google search it. You're going to press download here. And then it's going to bring you to this page here to download for Mac or Windows. And of course I have Windows, so you're just going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to start downloading and I'm going to just press save there. Okay, cool. The next thing we're going to need to download is this jailbreak software for the calculator. It's not really changing your calculator's hardware or software or anything like that. It's just a way to get games on your calculator. You can still use your calculator as normal even after downloading this to your calculator. It's just kind of like the, you know, it's kind of like downloading an app on an iPhone or on the on a Samsung. So we're going to download two files here. We're going to download artifice.8xv and then Cabri Jr. So we're going to go ahead and click on this first link here. Uh, we're just going to press save here. And then we're going to also download this Cabri Jr. app here. And it's going to load and we'll just click on this link right here. And it should be that version 5.0. We're going to press save here. All right, cool. So the next thing we're going to download is Cesium here. So this is going to be the shell that lets us run actual games on the calculator. Artifice does do that same thing, but Cesium is a cleaner, um, it looks cleaner. So we're just gonna go ahead here and press download file here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and press save now. All right, so now we have that downloaded. And then the last thing we need to download is this Doom game. Um, it is not fully finished or programmed. It looks like it's about a file that's four years old. So a small disclaimer, Doom is not a complete game. It's just a three-dimensional user interface, but I will be posting any updates about any like new downloads or updates in the actual description. So if there's any updates, you guys can go ahead and do it. Uh, regardless, it is a pretty fun and cool thing to do on the calculator. Um, you know, just to play a blank 3D game. There's not even any action. It's just, uh, it's just you know, the actual graphics and all that. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click on this green code button and we're gonna press download zip right here. And then we're just gonna press save now. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and open our downloads folder. And as you can see, there's those five things that we downloaded from the internet, TI Connect E, Artifice, Cabri, Cesium, and then the Doom game. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to actually install this TI Connect CE. Uh, we're gonna double click on it and you're gonna go through the installation process. I already have it installed on my desktop here, but once it's done, you should have it on your desktop like so. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna actually open up the Cesium folder first. We need to extract a file out of it. So we're gonna just double click on it. And then we're gonna take this and we're just gonna drag it to the desktop here. So we're just gonna press copy to desktop. I'm gonna move it into this middle spot here so that we don't get confused. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to copy these applications here. So we're just gonna press copy and then paste the desktop go that's a nice fun glitch there and then we're gonna copy Cabri Jr. and then we're gonna paste it here there we go all right and then the last thing we're gonna need to do is this uh, TI-84 CE Doom Master double click on it we're gonna click on this Doom we're gonna click on the bin folder here and then we're gonna copy this right here uh, we're gonna press copy and then we're gonna go in here and then paste it and there we go Okay, that is a, such a funny little glitch over there. Anyway, so now since we have everything on the actual, and if you guys need to know what the directory is, um, it's under your user, downloads, uh, and then, and then it's under the zip folder, that first one, Doom, and then the bin folder there. And so now since we have these four actual calculator files on the computer, we're gonna go ahead and open up TI Connect CE. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our calculator and we're gonna plug it into the computer. Uh, you, there should be a cord that comes with your calculator. If not, I can post the link in the description for you to get one from your local store or from Amazon or eBay, for example. So we're just gonna plug the mini USB into the calculator and then the regular USB into our actual PC. And then once it's plugged in, it should light up. There we go. I have a 5.8. It really shouldn't matter. Most calculators are, you know, have a late enough version on them. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take these four, um, we're gonna highlight these four on our desktop and we're just gonna drag them to the actual calculator. 
And then we're gonna actually move everything to the archive. There we go, archive, all right. And then I'm just gonna press replace everything. All right, so it's gonna go ahead and, you know, it's gonna move everything to my actual calculator. And then once that's done, then I will show you guys what to do on the calculator to actually play the game. And then a disclaimer, if your calculator says defragmenting, that's completely normal. All right, so it should finish after about a minute. And then we're just gonna go ahead and unplug our calculator here. And then we're gonna move on to the actual calculator now. All righty, so now since we have the actual programs on the calculator, we're going to go ahead and open up apps right here. And we're gonna go ahead and open up Cabri Jr., which is number two on my calculator here. Press enter. All right, cool. We're gonna press a key. And then this F1 is, is gonna pop up. If it doesn't pop up, you're gonna press Y equals, which is F1. And then you're gonna scroll down to open. You're gonna press enter. And then you're gonna press enter on artifice. And now you are in the artifice shell. So you can run Doom directly off of the calculator or directly off of artifice, but we're gonna install Cesium first. So we're gonna press enter. It says install the apps menu, enter and then press Dell to delete the installer. There we go, so now we're gonna press mode to exit Artifice. Now we're gonna open up Cesium, which is a cleaner, uh, it's like a app organizing shell on your calculator. So now we can actually go to Doom here. We're gonna press enter on here, and here is Doom on the actual calculator. So, disclaimer, this is not a full-fledged Doom game. It is just a three-dimensional user interface, but it does introduce uh, a first person, you know, first person perspective. Uh, there's no like code yet on it. And if you guys are wondering what the controls are, so eight, four, two, and six is the forward, backward, side, and side. Seven and nine is to look, is to, you know, change your, uh, your degree of, uh, of viewing. And then if you press the arrows, you'll actually notice uh, it does almost nothing. But if you press the up arrow, it actually will widen your field of view. And then if you press the down arrow, you can see up here, it will narrow your field of view. Uh, I don't know um, who programmed this, um, you know, why this was a thing, but it, it's very useful. Uh, I would say if it actually is a, like a, you know, a full-fledged Doom game, it's just a sprite and it does nothing. It's just, it just stands there. You can walk through it and it won't hurt you or anything. I would say if anyone out there wants to take on the challenge of finishing this program, uh, go right ahead, uh, post a comment and you know, I'll pin it if it's, uh, if it's good. Uh, if not, I'll be posting any update links in the description regarding you know, the Doom game. This, you know, a year from now, there might be a Doom game and this itself might be outdated, so we never know. But yeah, just look in the description, look for the, you know, look for any links I post, any threads about anyone programming. If you guys, um, if this video, I would say, probably gets a thousand likes, I will most likely take on the challenge myself to finish this Doom game. Um, I am relatively, you know, I would say not an expert at programming C, but I would say I'm definitely good enough to finish this program, but it's definitely going to take some time. But if you guys like the video enough, I'll definitely go ahead and finish the game for you guys. So I'd say besides that, um, you know, leave a like, leave a comment about what you think. Um, I know it's a little disappointing it's not a full Doom game, but at least, you know, we get the, the basics down of it. 